Hello, welcome back to my channel, and today we are doing a tag video. I was tagged by gorgeous Gwenny and the amazing Amelia. Gosh, I love alliteration and pollen drums. Um, where, yeah, <laughs> I was tagged. I was tagged by them to do a collaborative kind of, um, how, Gwenny, how would you describe this? Okay, basically, Amelia uploaded a video, five bags that she is obsessed with. And Gwenny and Winnie, being the brilliant ladies that they are, were like, this would be a good tag. And I completely agree. This is a great tag. And I am so happy that um, both Gwenny and Amelia tagged me to do this. So, okay, yeah, they they knew, they knew that um, I would be obsessed with a few bags. Really, the only trouble is narrowing it down to five. Um, and I think that they'll both admire my rebellious spirit in that I, I don't <laughs> narrow it down to five. Um, so I do have them written down on my computer. I just went over, I'm like, oh my goodness, all the hashtags that I've been searching recently, stalking so many pictures. Um, so yeah, so there are a few bags that I'm obsessed with. Let's go through them. This first one is going to potentially be a surprise if you're familiar with my channel. And I, I don't, I can't explain it. I look at pictures of this bag at least once a month. <laughs> um, and I've been looking at it more recently. It is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. <laughs> I, I don't really enjoy using big bags. I don't like it using bags that you have to dig through. I, oh, okay, so. The thing that really kicked off this obsession, um, Ben and I, we went to New York. Gosh, was that a couple weeks now? We actually got to meet Leslie, uh, Leslie Adina, um, here on, from here on YouTube, and she was in New York, so that was super cool. And we were both terrible Instagrammers and in that we didn't take a single picture together. <laughs> we didn't do any of like the things. We It was just really cool to meet and talk, but as per, you, you know, like I'm getting off topic. Um, but we went to New York and we were fortunately able to check into our hotel really, really early. So we were able to just drop off stuff there, but we didn't know if we'd be able to do that. So in preparation, I brought like just um, a cloth bag with our bare essentials in it, deodorant, change of underwear, shirt, like just the bare essentials, all my stuff, my husband's stuff, it just went into this because I was thinking like, okay, well, what if we can't check in? I need to be able to carry this around with me for several hours and I don't want to be weighed down. So fortunately we were able to do that, but I was, <laughs> and then I also brought my Louis Vuitton Montaigne bag, it's like my handbag. And I figure, okay, well I can carry extras in here. It's a nice size, but it's obviously open. Not that anyone could easily get in. While I was getting ready, I couldn't help but think, you know, that that Speedy 25 could fit everything. If I had to have a bag like with me the entire day that could also hold all of my overnight essentials. I mean, really, what do we? I, I love to overpack as much as the next gal. Um, probably more than plenty of gals, but I toothbrush, deodorant, clean underwear, like, and you're fine. Um, I'll, I can manage for a night, we're good. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. Actually, random fact about me, when I went to India, I was there for just over two weeks and I had a backpack. That is it. I had, I had one backpack. It was a big backpack, <laughs> but it was just a backpack. So I can definitely travel light when I need to, but I couldn't help but think, oh, oh wow, I, hmm. That, that Speedy 25 looks real nice right now and I could have an organizer so it would be kind of brighter inside, a little bit more um, organized and I, I also love Audrey Hepburn. It's, ah, it's a whole thing. So I'm a bit obsessed with the Speedy 25. It's so outside of what I typically gravitate towards and I feel like I'm on this very weird journey with Louis Vuitton where I'm discovering all like all the bags that everyone has been into for decades and that they bought so long ago and now I'm just like ooh wow you have a really good point there um yeah so that is number one okay 
The next bag I am absolutely obsessed with. I keep looking at pictures. It is a Fendi fall winter baguette. It's coming at some point. <laughs> I have no idea when it's coming. I really loved this one pink bag, this pink baguette. I don't really know how you describe it, but it had, um, can it was like canvas, I guess. Um, but it it had the cutout FS cutout Duke print. I really love that one. Oh, it was so cute. Um, and I think is I don't think it was like overwhelmingly popular. I had so many chances to get it, but I was trying to be sensible, and I didn't. And but I figured, you know what? There will there will be a baguette for me one day, and I really really like this one. It. It's colorful, but they're muted colors. I'll have a picture up. It has the um, water snake handle and tab where the buckle goes. It's it's embroidered. <laughs> I I really like this baguette. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Their baguettes, especially their special edition ones, they seem to be. I don't want to say. Um, hmm, how do I say this? Like, they're not always available, but you can usually get your hands on them. I feel like Fendi is a really pleasant middle ground where things don't necessarily sell out like crazy unless we're talking about the sequin baguettes. Of course, that's in a whole other realm. Um, but for the most part, there are other pieces. You can usually get them if you want to. Um, Obviously, these special edition baguettes are more expensive than the regular ones. That's obviously kind of a barrier for people, and I don't know. I'm, I'm really tempted to save up for that. I don't know. Okay, that's number two. My third piece that I am obsessed with, here is where I'm going to start breaking the rules a little bit because I'm not going to limit it to one. However, it is something from Mulberry. I, I just, oh, I really am drawn to Mulberry right now. And the reason I can't limit it to one thing is because I have been equally stalking the totes, <laughs> the Amberly satchel, and also so not a handbag, so kind of not cheating, but also the agenda covers. I was browsing on Mulberry and I saw under accessories, organizers, and I was like, whoa, they make organizers? I was thinking like bag organizers um, for their totes. Like, oh, do they do that? Click on it. And it's these beautiful agenda covers. And I was like, oh, organizer, get it. Okay, hmm, yeah. Actually though, do you ever wonder why maybe brands don't make bag organizers? Maybe they don't want that responsibility to like make any claims that it's gonna protect the bag? I don't know, maybe they just figure let's leave that to somebody else. Whatever. <laughs> I, I clicked on this wondering if it was gonna be the organizer for the tote because if I do get the tote, I would probably get an organizer and I have been looking at pictures of those bags pretty often. I actually got to try on the Amberly Satchel when I was at the New York outlet. And I thought, I mean, wow, this leather feels amazing. It's a really good size. I was, again, trying not to be too hasty, so I didn't buy it just then. Um, but, oh, and I also tried the tote there as well. Like, I, I'm not a tote person. I'm not a big bag person. I've generally said yeah, I'd be perfectly content if I never buy another luxury tote. And yet there are more totes on this list. <laughs> so <laughs> clearly I am changing my tune or just, I mean, whatever. I'm diversifying my collection. Okay, on to the next one. Keeping with the rule breaking streak, I have to name two things here because I am equally obsessed with them. I, I think one is very, very much my jam and that is the Bottega cassette. For some reason, I'm really liking it in this silver like tin man kind of thing going on. I. I really, really like this bag. This bag was on my wish list, my wish, my, oh, here I try to correct the word, I can't say it. Wish list. <laughs> it was on my wish list. I was thinking maybe the parakeet because I love that green. I don't, I don't know. I have also flip-flopped in videos saying like I'm flip-flopping on this bag and so that tells me I shouldn't get it, but I am still obsessed with it. And this bag isn't, sorry, this tag is not about what I'm gonna be buying, but it is absolutely what I'm obsessed with. I really, really like it. I, especially when I see the new colors come out in this. This bag is so me. It is small, it is quirky, it is bright. Um, 
I just, I really, really like it. I, I do worry that the raw edges of the leather, the woven leather, won't necessarily wear all that well. But I, I, yeah, I do really, really like it. So that is the first piece from Bottega that I'm obsessed with, but I have to admit, I'm really into the teen Jody. They came out with so many different colors. That's kind of what I was waiting for. I think they originally, as you'd expect, they came out with black, um, some maybe one or two different tan shades, and then maybe there was one more like a blue, I can't remember. But since they have launched a ton of different colors, including a, including this Wisteria color, I've looked at everything on the Bottega website that comes in this Wisteria color. So I will probably be getting something, but I just don't know what. I do really love this Teen Jody. I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> But Bottega leather feels amazing. It ages really well. I am really drawn to this bag, but obviously I cannot buy all of these and I'm just thinking, is this at the bottom of the list? I don't know, but I do keep looking at it. And so absolutely obsessed with too many things on Bottega to limit it. I mean, limit just that to five. That could be a five obsessed bags like right there. But yeah, those are probably the top two. <laughs> I have two more to share with you. This next one, again, a tote. Okay, but I have talked about this before. This is the Loewe elephant bag. It's in the Raffia. They have come out with like different felts and leathers and all these different um, versions of it. But this little Raffia bag is so darn cute. I have seen it in person. I keep telling myself, I do not need it. I don't need it. I. I don't really even know when I would use it. I don't go to beaches. I'm, I'm not really a beach person. I'm sure I, I would use it for running errands, but it is just this wide open tote and would that be annoying? It's handheld. I mean, I think the small one can just fit over your shoulder, but I'm actually not sure about that. So it's not really a convenient piece to have. But it is so, so darn cute. If money were no object in my life, <laughs> I would have bought this by now. I don't don't know if I'll ever have it, but it's under a thousand dollars. I think the small is about nine hundred. A big chunk of change, especially for a bag. I'm not going to use all that often. I I don't live in a particularly like warm. I mean, what am I saying? I don't really know where I'm going. But we have a nice long summer, and I'm sure I would use this in the spring and summer here and there. And I'm just trying to decide if it's cute enough. For me to buy i mean it's definitely cute enough oh see i'm i'm all over the place with this bag i love it and i want a reason to buy it but i know that there are other bags that i kind of would get more use out of and guarantee while the elephant is a lot more affordable than those i mean it's like a quarter of the price of a peekaboo i i think i would use a peekaboo more at yeah, that's, let's see, I, yeah, I'm talking about peekaboos. I want too many bags, this is the problem. <laughs> but it's okay, you already knew that. So, um, what's the last one on my list? Yes, the last one uh, that I've been stalking is the Fiori Lepage Zipper Tote. I've talked about this on Instagram a lot. I don't know how much I've talked about it on here, but I am looking for a new work tote. It is so hard. <laughs> It is so hard when you're just like deep in that research thinking like, well, there's just so many options and most of them aren't checking all the boxes. But then of course, sometimes you find things that you still really love, even though it won't suit the original purpose. Like, I don't know, but I really, really love these uh, totes. I love the colors. I like that they have zippered options and then they also have open ones. A lot of the Fiori Lepage bags look really cute, quite durable. I'm often looking for a bag that is great for errands in the rain. <laughs> Something that will really hold up. At first I was thinking Louis Vuitton canvas, but that often comes with fachetta leather. Um, and then I know that the treated Louis Vuitton leather can be quite stiff until you wear it in. Um, and then there's the uh, emprunt leather from Louis Vuitton. I've also heard is really hard wearing in the rain, <laughs> though I accidentally made the mistake of saying that to a sales associate at Louis Vuitton and their eyes were just like when you were like, I was like, I'm sorry, that's just what I've heard. I was, I don't think sometimes before I speak, um, I just say what comes into my head, something I'm working on, but 
I, yeah, I scared the heck out of this essay at Louis Vuitton. They were like, no, don't do that. Don't do it. Um, but I have heard from other YouTubers that these bags were incredibly well in the rain. So uh, what was I getting at? The Fury Lepage, I have considered getting a small crossbody for when I'm like running errands and I know it's gonna rain. For example, I think we are just minutes away from a thunderstorm. <laughs> so I am very glad I just finished my list. Honestly, I don't know how many things I said. Gwenny, I am sorry for breaking the rules, um, but you, you love it when we're naughty. So that is my list. Uh, I'm gonna tag some people down in the description box. When I post this video, I'll also tag them on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for Gwenny and Winnie for coming up with this tag, Amelia for inspiring it and tagging me as well. I really appreciate it, but I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.